Right. Well, as we get into the thick of round six, we have an, another special guest on the show. Sergeant Jennifer Williams is with Alejandro. Thank you, Jen. And I love all of these community outreach opportunities the club has and that we have here in the community of St. Louis. Welcome, Sergeant Williams, to Thank the you. show. Tell us a little bit about your program. Uh, so we have the Police Athletic League in St. Louis County. A little history about the Police Athletic League. It started back in the 1900s in New York City. A couple of commanders had after-school programs, combined them, became PAL. In the 1940s, National PAL came about, and currently in the United States, there's over 400 member chapters, 700 police departments, 1,700 facilities, and over a million youth served. So we started the Police Athletic League in St. Louis County in November of 2015. 2015. And went from one officer and myself to now we have seven full-time officers. And we have over 1,400 kids enrolled in our programming. 1,400. 1,400. We don't, we don't have all 1,400 kids at one time. It's usually two to 300 active at one time. Two to 300 kids for seven people still sounds like a lot. <laughs> it, it is a lot. It is a lot. But it's a lot of fun also. Our, our mission with the Police Athletic League is pretty simple, and that is that we build bridges between the kids, the community, and law enforcement. Absolutely necessary for all kinds of of communities. Well, we're right now in winter months. Does it slow down a little bit? That's cold. It does not slow down. We're inside mm -hmm. a lot. Um, we do take advantage of pretty days, but um, we have camps going on constantly. We're constantly in the schools. Um, we do a lot of sports and a lot of activities with the kids. So, including chess, I'm sure in the winter including, ones. Including chess. That was that was started by Officer Darren Young in our uh, in our unit. There we go. And um, it's been very successful. The kids love it. Well, that's very good to hear. And I guess in the summertime, you go back into other kinds of activities? We do. We go more outdoors. We have summer camps that we run throughout the county that are uh, keeping the kids busy. We get to do things that we don't get to do in the winter, um, such as outdoor swimming, such as golf, hiking. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready to take the kids camping for the first time, so that should be fun. And Where are you guys going? We're going to go to uh, Merrimack Caverns here in Missouri, oh, so we're going to partner hopefully with Missouri Conservation for that. Oh, that's really so cool. We that's also do a lot of fishing in the summer. Yeah, people, I think, when they think of tourist things in Missouri, sometimes they don't think about the caverns, but they're absolutely stunning. We're very excited about taking the kids to see the caverns. Well, that sounds really fun. Speaking of swimming, there's a special event I'm being told you're hosting with the junior high. With Jennings School mm -hmm. District, we actually, swimming was, I, I think, one of our important, mo most important programs because it not only builds the relationships, but it also is life savings, life changing. We're teaching mm -hmm. kids how to survive in the water. So we swim a lot at the Jennings School District, and their pool was having a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. um, the, it had a leak, uh, a pretty bad leak. It had rusty diving boards, bad lighting. It was, it was a little run down. We were very lucky to get a uh, grant through Channel 5, um, the news station here in St. Louis, and we were able to repair the pool, get rid of the diving boards, put on some fresh paint and new lighting, and we're going to be able to swim a lot more often at the Jennings Pool now. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds really nice. I wasn't thinking about swimming today in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we do swim quite a bit with the kids, usually in the fall and the spring, indoors. Oh, that's absolutely lovely. Well, tell us about those Chess Cups breakfast coming up. This is the second annual one. The first one was extremely successful. Um, again, we're at the Jennings School District at Gary Gore Elementary School. Uh, this year, we are hoping to have at least 100 kids and 100 guests. So the kids will be playing chess with the police officers again and they're going to get a nice hot breakfast out of it. That's mm -hmm. awesome, and if you are interested in participating or sponsoring the event, you can see the information here on the screen. Go to stlouischessclub.org or call us or email. Don't be shy about it. This is an amazing community outreach. Thank you so much for organizing all these kinds of activities. I know that the kids just become more and more excited with all kinds of, from chess to swimming, Absolutely. everything. It's wonderful. Thank you. Well, thank you, Sergeant Willis, for showing up, coming out here on the show. Guys, do we have any more chess? Well, I just want to reflect that I was there for the first breakfast. Thank you, Jennifer, for, for, for joining us. I was there for the first breakfast last year, and uh, there was a policeman who had sat down and set up all the pieces, and I sat down opposite it and I said, okay, let's play. And he went, oh, 
man, I was hoping for an easy win. <laughs> he, he had to believe me. He was like, I was all set for and a win. And that's how little kids sat next to him. And <laughs> that kid beat him, too. Exactly. Everybody was pounding on this poor police officer. But let's see. Uh, Jen, uh, I was just looking at the game of Humbi and Kostanyuk because it's such a...